What's up guys, Seth Ryder here, back for another episode of Bass Labs. On this one, we're gonna try to figure out how a bass sees color versus how we see it. Should be really interesting. Come on, check it out. So Seth wanted to know, do bass see color differently than we do as humans? And many, many research studies have said yes. And so here on the screen, I get an exam. I have an example of, of the different colors that that we can see as humans. So our human vision can can see from just a little bit above the UV range all the way up into the low far red range. And if we were to separate out that color spectrum to see the different colors of the rainbow, our human vision can see in a range something like this. Scientific studies and reports have shown that the rods and the cones, the cones that see color in bass, then have the ability to see in a much broader range than we do as humans. They actually can see wavelengths of energy in the UV range, and they can also see wavelengths in the far red range that we as humans aren't able to discern. They can see the colors of green and red very, very well they can distinguish those colors and they can tell them apart in, in, in an aquatic environment. But some of the other colors, bass didn't do so well at discerning. So for instance, between yellow and chartreuse uh, and, and white and chartreuse, they had about a 50-50 mix of being able to, to distinguish between those two colors. Um, another great example is I, I love to fish black and blue jigs and black and blue jigs are really popular in general, but bass, eyes don't do a great job of distinguishing between black and blue. But it might be a distinguishing piece in the contrast. So what, what happens though is these colors that we see are all done in air, but fish live in water, and the way light goes through water changes the, the way that the color penetrates at different depths. And um, the, the colors like blue and green penetrate much, much deeper than as we get to longer wavelengths, lower energy wavelengths, those don't penetrate light nearly as far. So not only do we have to think about how bass see, but we have to think about what kind of light is available to them in their environment. So Seth, down in the lab, I showed you the instrument that we use to kind of take pictures of the different colors on this bait. Yep. And uh, it takes a while to collect that data, so what I thought I'd do is just show you some pictures of things that I've already uh, collected. But, but first, I, I, it, I wanted to just remind us that, that fish, we know from research, that fish do see differently than, than we do. So in the human vision, we can see colors from, from roughly this 400 nanometers up to a little more than 700 nanometers. And that equates into the from the UV to the far red. So we can see all these colors. Bass have been shown by research to see much farther in the spectra. They can okay. see this whole distance. And so what that means is that you know their eyes are going to see colors differently than we see, and there are going to be certain wavelengths that we can't see at all that they are very good at seeing. Okay. Um, and, and even colors that we can see really well, like green, they might be able to split it into way more shades of tones and colors than, than we can. Okay. And, and you know, there's, there's scientific ways we can, we can look at that, but as fishermen, there's ways that we can kind of tune our baits to, to make that as, as optimal as possible. So if you remember that machine, I put this down into the box, and then it took a number of pictures, and each picture it took at a different color. So it would take one at about the width of my finger, it would take another picture, another okay. picture, another picture, another picture for each one of the wavelengths that we were interested in. And what ends up is that then we get a whole bunch of pictures. Okay. Right? So each one of these pictures is at a different part of the wavelength. And on this machine, it can actually take pictures in the wavelengths that we can't see. Okay. So this machine can take pictures from the entire range that a bass can see, from this lower end all the way up to the higher end. Okay. And the way that this very complicated thing is arranged is that it starts, this picture starts down here. Okay. And then each 
picture along the way is moving a little farther up the spectrum until finally when we get here, we're all the way into the very, very far infrared. Okay. So, um, because bass don't see colors the same way we did, I then just decided to put the color green on the lure that then showed the peaks of the bass vision on this lure. Okay. So anything that you see green here on is, is on this lure that is in the peak visual sensitivity of the bass. And for instance, in the UV range, it's hard to see here, but if you look very carefully, you can see that the bill shows up in the UV range. Okay. Right? See that green that's, that's showing up in here? Yeah. And that's going to be in this and area. And that's going to be down down that's here. It it, well, it's even lower. Else. It's in the, in the bass vision range. We start to we start to see it probably about this row. Okay. So we we start here, and and that's about here. All right. So now, as we continue, as it's taken more and more pictures at, at different wavelengths, we start to see that there's a subtle tone of, of bass sensitivity here, but there's a really strong peak right here. Okay. And that strong peak corresponds to roughly this part of the wavelength that just matches exactly with the research on, on the sensitivity of bass vision. Okay. And as we keep going up in, in colors of this bait, we see again that there's a sensitivity on the sides of, of the bait that are way up here in the far red. And this happens to be in the region that's even past the color that we can see. Okay. So the interesting thing here is that this bait, to us, looks has been designed, I think, to look very much like a bait fish and yeah. and um, real natural. Real natural, and we know that it catches fish, but we also know that it that it really matches the the way that bass can see color and see. Um, look at this bait it's essentially on the sides in particular where we're seeing this it's just white reflective but remember white is a mixture of all the colors right okay and bass have certain sensitivities so that white reflection is, is when we measure it individual wavelengths there are certain peaks that really fit very well into the bass vision okay yeah that's really cool um like i said before um a lot of the baits i have are real similar in color to our eyes you know, there's a million minnow patterns, but there's a reason, this is helping me explain, there's a reason why that one outperforms the other ones that also look real natural, but I think there's stuff popping on this that we're not seeing with our eyes. It's, uh, you know, really key in the bass into that bait. And uh, we got a bunch of other colors. We're gonna run through these tests and see why, you know, this crop pattern versus that crop pattern seems to outperform. And same with the, you know, the shad and minnow pattern. So it's really cool to look at it underneath this. And this kind of maybe tells us why this certain color where it's popping in their spectrum, it, you know, I'm having more success with that versus a, a really similar color pattern in my eyes that I don't catch near as many fish on. We got a lot more videos coming from Bass Labs. We're going to run through a ton of colors and uh, stay tuned. <laughs>